Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here. I have been teasing this tutorial for a while now and I keep forgetting. I've had it set up and prepped for a while but I keep forgetting. I did forget to bring my lighter out so make sure when you start your ribbon you always burn your end just to heat your end just to make sure that it doesn't fray. But we are making these bracelets today. Gorgeous right? <laughs> I know exactly who I'm sending this one to. Um, these are really nice because they are plus size friendly. That goes a fair way up my wrist. I can get it on and off without any hassle. Um, same with this one. And these are just the inserts of tape rolls. We are upcycling a tape roll to become a bracelet. And you only need three things. You need some ribbon, a tape roll. You can use a cardboard one but if you're going to do that coated in something first like um just give it a sealer because that way it shouldn't crack and break like if you're out in the rain or anything I just like these ones because plastic is going to last forever um so what you do is you just take your ribbon we're just basically doing some very simple ribbon wrapping um if you've watched my mini ears tutorial or mickey ears tutorial with the beaded one you know that we're basically just going to take this, pull it nice and tight as you can and come around and then we just keep going. This is going to end up unraveling which is going to make it a lot longer of a process. So you just pull as tight as you can and move it along and you get this really pretty pattern. Now this is just cheap ribbon I got off eBay. It's actually for the price I paid for it, it's absolutely beautifully, beautiful quality ribbon. Um, and you just want to try and make it as neat as you possibly can. And the, well, okay, we may not have enough ribbon for this. I didn't know about that, that I may not. So we're just going to work on, I'm going to pull this back a bit. Because I didn't sort of, I thought I had a bit more ribbon, I'm just going to work on still getting this nice but on pulling it out just a little bit more. You still want it to wrap around at the ends, but you just want to make sure that when you are, you're sort of pulling it along a bit more so that you're not having as much ribbon catch on the other ribbon, that on the, on the last piece. So instead of having this catch in the middle like I would normally do it, I'm just pulling it down a little. Um, that way, hopefully, we won't run out of ribbon. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm just, I'm overly cautious and I haven't made one of these in a while. Um, but I love these. This one's probably going to be mine. I love the pink and white, although I may send it to someone else. I don't know. I know the black and cream one is definitely for my friend Megan. Um, I think she will love that. I know how hard it is to find jewellery when you're upper plus an SSBBW. So unfortunately, Megan has had a lot going on this year. We have a collab which I feel like I need to refilm now because it's almost a year old um not quite it's heading up there though like September October last year I think it was maybe November but yeah so I feel like I need to refilm that and redo because the questions I put I may have changed my mind on I may have better answers now sorry I keep pulling that towards me instead of showing you what I'm doing so we're just going to sit here it's this is something you know if you've got to wait a long time in for an appointment or something like that these are the kinds of things I take with me to do um I've got to get better at taking stuff with me to create while I'm out and about again because it does help me um it helps relax me I find it easier hang on this one's these last couple went a bit too high there we go um it helps relax me when I'm stressed, but it also, it gives me a focus. Um, I can only handle being out and about for a while um, before I start to get really antsy um, and really stressed. So um, I hit my limit last week when I, and I'm probably going to do it again this week because well, next week, Thursday, I have an appointment in town at 9.30 and then an 11.45 doctor's appointment. Um, I had to change the doctor's appointment. I did try and make it closer. However, just with um, just with the way community transport is and stuff, it would have been too hard. So I think we're going to be okay on the ribbon here. We're still just trying to... And look how pretty that looks. Like, 
it it looks like something you'd pay a decent at least five or ten, five or ten dollars for. Um, I was contemplating putting some of these in my Etsy store, but I just don't have the plastic rings to do it at the moment. The yeah, so but this is it's super easy. We've been what sitting here for five minutes chatting. Um, I've been trying to go a little bit slow to show you how to do this, and we're almost there. I did do a double layer on the other one, so we might see but that is so much and the reason I did a double layer is in case one of these moves you've got that extra protection like the it, it will st stay but also just because it just makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear I mean even just doing this though it is a super compared to wearing a plastic bangle or something I mean there are so many things you can do with these you can turn these into little mini tutus and all sorts of things but honestly I just really love the idea of this as a BBW or SSBBW bracelet because often places don't think about how big your wrist is um, and often it's hard to find things when you are a plus size woman or men. I mean, some men like wearing jewellery um, or transgendered person. No judgment here. We all get to wear what we want to wear. Heck, if it wasn't so expensive, I'd probably wander around in Lolita dresses and fun, fun, much more fun clothing than I have in my wardrobe at times. But I invested in things that would last a long time and I'm happy. For the most part, I, I get a little bored, but I am happy with my wardrobe. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just... Oof, working my way back around. I don't remember where I started doing this for the second time. But I just think this is so super pretty and this kind of ribbon, this kind of satin ribbon does look really nice in this style. Um, this was something I've had in my stash for ages. This is one of my 100 things. I already counted it though because I was making a video and I was like, well, I'm going to count this one, which was kind of in last one, but you'll see the new one. So the new one will count for the new 100 things challenge. And yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Sorry, I'm having a moment when my fingers are getting sore. So you're just kind of doing it as smooth as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's handmade. We're not machines, people. We can't always get everything as perfect as we'd like to. But we're sure going to give it a try, aren't we? And as I said, um, I don't have my lighter out here. But normally, and I probably will, um... And that, so I don't think I missed doubling up on much of this. So that is it. What are we at? We're at eight minutes. Oops. Eight minutes and she knocks the light off, of course. Okay, so we're just going to stick this pit down and I will just very gently run a lighter over that later. Just, or actually, I'm just going to stick some glue on the end of that just to make sure it doesn't fray. And that's it. It's that simple. Can you believe how easy that is? And look, you made I've made a beautiful bracelet. It fits my wrist. It's comfortable. It's got lots of room to move. If you're someone who likes big jangly bracelets, then you would love this too. You can use smaller ones. Like um, these are just the size I had and they work so perfectly for SSBBWs. I am so happy with these. Like look at how beautiful they are. Um, let me know what you think of this. Will you be trying this craft? Um, would you wear something like this in public? I know I would. I really love this. I actually think I have the right dress and shoes to go with this one. So I may keep this one for me or I may gift it. I don't know. But um, honestly, I have so, fun, so much fun thinking up these kind of crazy kooky ideas at times. And I am really happy with this. Yes, there's a little bit of this that didn't quite get fully double covered, but next time I know to make sure I, I, I had cut some of this ribbon off to use for something else. Um, so it wasn't fully quite the size I had intended. It takes a little bit of ribbon, a little bit of patience, but we're here. Eight minutes. It took me eight minutes to create a fabulous bracelet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you're going to try this. Let me know if you're not going to try it, but if it's something you would purchase. And as always, remember, you are amazing, you are incredible, and you truly do matter. Bye, my angels and devils.